Uh, Shalom, Shalom. This is Tata Doc from the GMS Los Angeles camp. Come, come back with another video to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Hashem Bashim Rakhakadash. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakhakadash. Hey, double honor to the Apostle the Elder Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the whole flat Akim. Was pushing this word, so I just want to come up with another video. I got some information about the the waters. Um, that Esau is contaminating here throughout America, all right. And part of that, part of that contamination is part of his um, his fulfillment of the of the Georgia Guidestones, what he's trying to implement. Okay, he's trying to get everybody sick to cut to um, to um, increase the medical bills of the so-called American people, um, increase the debts of the American people, which. Who's in America? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native, Native Americans. I will put the I will put the information on the um, on the description so you can read it and watch the videos there. All right. So as you can see, um, um, it's a a chemical called PFAS, PFAS. Okay. It's um uh, stands for per and polyfluoroquinol substances. All right. So it basically has fluoride with different types of substances. That could um, pretty much destroy your body. Okay, so let me get with the first scripture. All right, this is um, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. All right, this is 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. So this is the new site, this is GMS Inland Empire 2. I had it up before, but um, they, they um, tore down the first channel, so this will be the main channel now. All right, for now. You know, who knows? Okay? So this is um, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. All right? And it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we not ignorant of his devices. And one of those devices of the is called the pollution of water. Okay? And he's doing that in order to destroy... The so-called Negro Latino and the Native Americans. That's the ultimate plan. Okay? And at the same time, getting his own people sick and the other nations sick. Alright? To increase medical bills. To increase that never-ending rat race that's here in Babylon. Okay? And at the same time, to fulfill to fulfill what they want in their Georgia Guidestones, man. They're trying to kill a lot of people off, man. Okay? In order to fulfill their goals. All right, so we the never-ending battle here, brothers. We the we the never-ending war until Yahweh Shah returns. But this war is about to end, cause we at the end of this, man. Everybody's starting to know Esau's wickedness, the so-called white man's wickedness, and it's being ex and it's being exploited right now through their through their own media. Okay, and it's gonna be a matter of time till this becomes big news, man. That every tap water you that you're taking a shower with. Every tap water, every American drinking is loaded with that chemical. And it's in and it's been it's been like that for years. So don't be surprised, it's in every American's bloodstreams right now. Okay? Alright, so that's one of the devices about polluting their water, man. Okay? So let me start with the um this is the switch I want to start out with before I did this lesson. This is Psalm, Psalms chapter seven. Psalms chapter 7, verse 11. All right. The Most High judges the righteous. Yahweh judges the righteous. But the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. And trust me, brothers and, and, and sisters who are listening to this video, he is angry with the wicked every day. Not a day go past that he doesn't know. Okay? He. Right now, prophecy is fulfilling, man, okay? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. Who's an inhabitant of the earth? Who runs this earth? The, the wicked, they do. They do, okay? okay? All right, so don't forget, the Most High is angry with the wicked every day, man. He sees everything what they're doing, man, okay? Right now, they're just fulfilling prophecy because they're the left-hand side of the Most High. They're the sword, okay? All right, they, these devils doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right, but does it make us sick what he's doing? And, and we see that shit? Hell yeah, it does, man. It gets us angry every day. So 
If the Lord is angry every day, we're going to be angry every day. Okay? Let's get with the next scripture. This is, um... Let me get in, um... Revelation 12, verse 12. All right? Revelation 12, verse 12. All right? And I'm going to give you more of the um, information of this um, chemicals that's in the um, um, drinking water right now. As you can see, Flint, Michigan, as you already know, their water supply is really contaminated, man. That every Jake that's out there, so-called Negro, Latino, Native, Native American, it's in their bloodstream. And it's causing a lot of effects, man. Okay, so let me get this scripture out first. All right, this is um, Revelation 12, verse 12, all right? And it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. When it says woe, it means destruction. Okay? Destruction upon them, right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. And who inhabits the earth and sea? What was Esau's blessing, according to Genesis, the 27th chapter? That he would inherit the fatness of the earth, meaning all the minerals, everything, all levels of the earth, man. And what's one of those levels of the earth? Is the water supply. All right? The water supply, that's what he's contaminating, man. That's when you know you're a devil if you pollute in your own drinking water. That's why That's why the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh is going to come and destroy this man, man. All right? He's going to put the elites into um, captivity. Right? And then after that, after a thousand years, the so-called white man will be diminished, man. All right? Because it's going to be under new management. And that new management is 144,000 men, the elect men, that's going to be the first governing bodies of this earth and sea. All right, but let's go into another thing, all right? So it says, Revelation 12, verse 12, Woe into the inhabitants. Uh, woe unto the inhabitants. Uh, uh, let me read from the top. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. And part of that great wrath, what he's doing is polluting those waters, man. Not knowing that we need water. Because part of our body is 60% water, man. We need liquids, man. But you got this man, the so-called white man, destroying your drinking water, man. I don't care. Look, there's no, there's no way you can defend this man, man. He's the devil according to the Bible. Okay? But you got your uncle... Oh, you got your sambos out there defending these dudes, man. Taking the green, taking that dollar to defend this man, man. And calling us liars, man. But according to the Bible, who runs this earth? The so-called white man, the wicked. And guess what? He's destroying the earth and its water. Okay? But by his management. And, and including you other nations along with him. You're destroying your, your um, places where you dwell. China, with your forever just factories is destroying your own country man along with other nations countries man they're destroying it through their own um, factory facilities man and dumping their chemicals in their own drinking water it proves right there that the so-called white man of other nations not fit to run this earth man okay the only one that's going to run this earth is the so-called negro latino native americans the elect men that's going to run this earth with an iron fist man okay so, um, let me get back to it. So, the, for the having great wrath because he know he has but a short time. And the elites know they have a short time because they know Yahab Bashashah is going to return. So, they're trying to get everything to for what? To fulfill their new world order. Now, let's get with these chemicals, what they have in here, okay? And what it causes, all right? It's called PFAS, right? That's the name of the chemical that's in most of the American bloodstreams right now through California all the way down to the East Coast, all right? Down to the Midwest, all right? It could cause kidney and liver failure problems, thyroid problems, high cholesterol, birth defects, because they want to keep um, Jake sterile, man. That's, the, that's part of the plan, because they don't like the way we, we're just multiplying, man. But when we in captivity, we're going to multiply. That's according to the scriptures. Okay? You get pregnancy complications. It's in the bloodstreams of most Americans. And guess what? One of the main factories that's dumping this chemical in the waters for more than 10 years was Wolverine. 
Wolverine is a is a is a shoe company, you know, for work, boots, for your brothers who work in factories. You know about them boots. Those companies is dumping their chemicals in those waters over there in, in Michigan. Okay? Alright. And um, what else is in here? So most of that chemicals in the bloodstream of Americans, man. Alright? By this devil, the so-called white man. Alright? There's no way out of it, man. The 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 charges on you is building up. The charges on you so-called white people are mounting up, man. All the way to the heavens, man. And guess what? The most side using his men to exploit you and to rattle those bird cages, man. All right? Let's get to the next scripture. This is, um... This is, um... Psalms 10, verse 2. Okay? Because a lot of you so-called white people is being affected by all this, too. By you, 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 uh, you, um, average American, um, Joes out there. The Joe six-pack. Guess what? Y'all getting, y'all getting... You're getting destroyed by the own devices your own people made, man. How about that? Okay? This is Psalm, this is Psalm, Psalm 10 verse 2. Psalm 10 verse 2. So I just wanted to bring that information out to y'all, man. Okay? And we already know this devil is already polluting everything, man. You can tell, look at the evidence, man. Okay? And don't try to include everybody. We all must come together. We got to have an earth day. No. Since you are the hammer of the earth and you are the inhabitant of the earth, basically running this place, you got to take responsibility of what you did, man. And guess what that, guess that responsibility you need to take? You need to, you need to be put to death for what you're doing. And guess what? According to the scriptures, you are going to be put to death, man, after your captivity. All right. So this is Psalm 10 verse 2. All right, Psalm 10, verse 2. The wicked in his pride will persecute the poor. And how he persecuted us? Through the pollution of the water, the fake foods out there destroying our bodies. That's why you're saying number, it doesn't matter, man. All right? It doesn't matter how many herbs you take. It doesn't matter what you do. But in the same time, you have to be... Um, you have the most I have to be with you, man. Okay, he has to be with you. All right. So he pers he persecuted the poor through these pollu polluted um drinking water, man. And it were the same water we taking showers with, man. It shows to prove that this devil needs to be put out, man. And that devil's talking about the so-called white man, Esau, the Edomites, according to the Bible. That's their biblical name. All right. For the wicked boast of the. For the wicked and his pride both doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. And guess what? You elites out there, you're going to be taken out by your own devices you imagine, man. There's going to be a time when you in your underground bunker drinking that water. And guess what? As it's loaded with those P, P, um, those PFAS. PFAS, man. And you think you're going to be safe, but guess what? It's going to leak in there, man. All right? So you go, so you so-called white people gonna be destroyed by the own device you created, man. I talk about you African, you you average American Joe six packs, man. That that backs the elites and backs the your your president, man. Okay, you condone pollution, you condone all this, man. All right, can't take no responsibility whatsoever, man. Why? Because you the goddamn devil. All right, this is um. This is, um, I'm going to end it with this scripture. This is Job 21, verse 30. Now, the, the, the most cities that's affected, which they saying, is Miami, Philly, and New Orleans, and California. All right? And um, it's called Forever Chemicals, man. That's part of the, um, the um, what they call it is, um, it's part of the, um, the company that makes these chemicals, man. All right? So, um, it's Miami, Philadelphia, New Orleans, but you know that's a goddamn lie. It's throughout all of America, man. Because all these factories that dump in their chemicals and in, in our water supply is basically had the same materials like all these other factories be. So, it's a matter of time till every person gonna know they have that in their bloodstream, man. Okay? So, this is, um, let me end this with this. This is Job 21, verse 30. 
Job 21 verse 30. Job 21 verse 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Yes, the wicked is before is reserved for the day of destruction. When America is going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles. And the elites of them that's hiding in their bunkers is going to be dug out. And they're going to be the first slaves to what? To rebuild the earth and, the, and, and to build the kingdom, man. Okay? So they reserved for the day of judgment. And that day of judgment is nuclear fire that's going to come upon America, man. Okay. Um, that the wicked is reserved for the day of destruction, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. And they are. And, 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 it's, and it's heading that way, man. World War Three, Okay? But we still need a, uh, the prophecy needs to fulfill, man. And, it's, and right now, on the month of January, man, and that beginning of New Year's and that first couple of weeks, it's been nothing but prophecy has been unfolding, okay? The, mo the Most High speedily is going to take out America quickly, man. But there's still prophecies that need to be fulfilled, which is the mark of the beast, which is the R5D chip is the mark of the beast in World War Three, man. Okay, so we want you devils to keep doing what you're doing, man. Even though it gets us mad and angry every day, but we still, as men of the Lord, got to report all this, man. So I just want to give you, I, wanna, I just want to give you that information. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash. Double honor to the apostles and other great millstones. And peace and salutation for the whole collect Akim that's pushing this word. Till then, Shalom.